Hello, beloved. Welcome to your message. I thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining me. If you are keen or interested in booking me for a reading or a message or a one-on-one -on -one session, I am no longer available. Let us begin with your message from God. We have the two of pentacles inverted. We have the strength inverted. Libra energy as well as Leo energy. Lastly, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Hierophant upright, not inverted. I'm sensing a loss, like a great cry. It struck like a great cry, this loss. I'm, and I'm getting that this loss is linked to an opposer of yours. Someone who is dedicated to misunderstanding you. They don't want to, this is someone who doesn't, they neglected reason because they were driven by the crime of passion that they wanted to commit against you and yours all that is linked to you people things positions your work your career i'm sensing the energy that it would those factors of your life someone attempted to tamper with them in in hopes to bring you down with great strength i feel this person tried with great strength to do this to take you down to destroy what you've built for yourself to destroy the life that you worked hard towards they wanted to make your efforts seem, seem minuscule like you weren't who it's like this person wanted you to believe that you are not who you think you are they wanted you to feel insecure about yourself they wanted you to misunderstand yourself stay confused And with that being said, I feel like it was a constant struggle for this person to keep up these efforts to bring you down. In their reality, they struggled greatly, dearly with their attempts to bring you down. 
in this person's reality, I feel like they're they're someone who lacks direction in their soul. I feel like this person is soulless. They prefer living life in an outer body experience all the time. They, this is someone who is constantly under the influence of something or someone. Not only that, I feel like dark spirits hover over this person and this person's life. Like whatever they touch dissipates. It doesn't succeed. I'm getting a sense of a great cry, this loss that they're taking currently. It's a loss of all the weapons they formed against you not prospering. It's literally like the energy of this person is embodying like distress and despair. They're sitting and in their daily basis, they, const they are in constant thought of their actions towards you and how it didn't work. Whatever they were trying to do to bring you down. They were trying to see what components, what factors didn't play out the way they had enabled them to. Because I see that this person took upon a great deal of sacrifice to bring you down. They put, they, they had, they had done some actions that resulted in them having to compromise certain things. Like they weren't able to attack you to a certain degree if they hadn't made certain sacrifices. This is how this person thought of this. They thought that the greater the bad deed, the more chances they have on destroying you and your life. So the worse the, they do is the more they win. That's their mentality. We have the Tower Scorpio energy. Okay, thank you, spirit. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups crowned by the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Earth, followed by the Eight of Wands reversed. So we have double scorpio we have virgo and we have sagittarius energy present so i'm seeing i feel like now this person is facing 
the consequences of their actions. They now have to reflect on the seeds that they planted, the soil that they, they were digging and digging. It's like they were digging a hole for themselves. What their actions towards you were doing, it's like... I feel like this person misunderstood. I feel that they misunderstood spirituality and how it works. I feel that this is someone who was so self-driven and self-introspected in what they want and what they want to accomplish and what they want to win. So much so that they forgot consequences. They forgot reasonings. They forgot the basic rules and laws of spirituality. I feel they need to say they didn't forget. They just were not in the know of, the, of it. Rather, rather, I feel that this person was tapped into the negative aspect of spirituality. They were more drawn to that. How they can use spirituality to fulfill their own self gain. There is more than one deed that was done upon you by this person, more than one negative evil deed, okay? I feel that this person went through great lengths to achieve your demise. I feel that in this person's spirit, destroying you was more than a game. It was like they made it. I feel that in the in the in the in their spirit, they made it their life's effort. Okay, they made it their life's effort their life's mission to accomplish this, your demise, was all that they could think of for a very long period of time. That energy was transgress, 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 transgressing as if it was depleting this person's spirit. Their actions towards you were depleting them, weakening them with every last one weapon that they formed. When this person looks at you, they see someone with great integrity, great strength, morals, a teacher, a provider, a healer, an entrepreneur, an inspiring being with great wisdom and intellect. But they don't want to feel this way about you. I feel like, I feel that them seeing you in this way makes them hate you even more. They don't want to see you in this way. They wish you you were you were a bad person like them they wish that it was that easy to bring you down i feel that this person was adding fuel to the flame constantly lying about you creating fake scenarios scheming plotting against you to bring you down spiritually more than anything i feel like this is spiritually based i feel that this person currently in their life i feel like they're facing a tower 
okay, with this tower energy. I feel like the tower is them realizing that they actually cannot win against you. Them actually reflecting on their actions and realizing that it's, it's unsuccessful and it will always be that way. I feel that that thought drives this person nuts. I feel that I feel that this this person's energy in this person's energy I feel that they they regret I feel that there is no regret there's like no remorse in this person's subconscious even i feel like they are purely filled with a void of darkness within them so much so that it controls them i'm transgressions transgressions it's like the more they come after you they transgress they lose rank, they lose power, any sort of power that they thought they had. It just depletes because they're sending out bad energy to a good person. And it obviously, it like, it's like a ripple effect of, it, 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 it repels. Whatever they send you away, it repels your energy. It's like a, a boomerang. It bounces back. Because it's, I feel like your energetic sphere is not vibrating on that frequency. You cannot, you are not in alignment to receive any sort of negativity. Because you are not of that vibration. You don't vibrate on that level. You are free. You are safe. I feel that in this person's spirit, they fear you, like truly. They fear your spiritual self, your highest self. They fear that version of you. But I feel like they're addicted to decomposing it. They want, they want to end it. End that spiritual rank that you hold in the spirit realm. They want to demolish it. I feel like they want to, they use spiritual tools to destroy you, okay? They targeted your finances. I feel like this person targeted your finances to temper with your career so that you lose self-esteem because they know that you have passion with what you do. You're passionate. You love what you do. They wanted to silence you, tempering with your spiritual window, trying to see you so that they can use what they see against you spiritually so that you have no chance whatsoever. This was their intent, beloved. But I see that this great loss that they have taken, this great cry that they're in, it's more than sorrow. It's like This is due to what they've done. I feel that it's not anything of, it's like not a human diagnosis. It's a spiritual diagnosis. I feel like this person
They're scared of what you can come up with against them. They constantly live in fear that you are doing what they try to do to you, to them. They feel like you are doing it to them too, behind the scenes. And they're constantly living in fear of that, whether or not it's true. I feel like you and this person cross paths for a reason. I feel that you were the one that was meant to teach this person a great lesson in life about rank, spiritual rank, spiritual alignment. I feel like this you created, you were the catalyst or the vessel to their awakening. This experience that you're sharing with them, no matter how negative or how demonic it might seem, their energy cross paths with your energy for a reason. The transgressions. I feel that this person has been sitting in a high throne with this higher fun energy, thinking that the Hierophant is the teacher of all, someone very established in what they do. They don't need any, there's no one on top of the Hierophant. So with that being said, this person had claimed to be the Hierophant in their reality. They had claimed to, to be someone of the hierophant status you know they claim this upon their reality to other people i feel like it was a a straight delusion that they conjured up i feel like you're dealing with a chameleon a shapeshifter of darkness of the night someone who shapeshifts to become any dark spirit they need to become to bring anyone down. Whatever they need to do, okay, basically. Whatever they need to do, no matter how dark. I feel this is a spirit of someone who... Sees no boundaries or limits. This is someone who sees no boundaries or limits in what they can do to other people how far they can take it, how far it can go. I feel that, but like, I feel I have, there's a big but in all of this. I feel that it, this is all void. What I mean is this person they are not who they claim to be. So what they do, what they send out is not on the vibration that they think it is on. That's why it's not working. It's not on the, they are not on the vibration they think they're on. This person is in a delusional state of being. Literally, delusional in a way of telling themselves that they are someone they're not. I know this. I have this wisdom. I can do this. I have this power. I have this authority. I have this capability. All delusional things that they base their life around to fool not only themselves but others too into believing a certain way of them like trusting them and then they manipulate the trust this is an energy of someone who is in deep need of psychological help no matter how spiritually based this is i feel like this person they crown chakra is the it's like in its inverted form it's in its detriment 
And what that means is their intuition is solely led by the darkness that they fuel their soul with. But any darkness within the soul makes the soul soulless. The soul being the mind and the heart. Any darkness in the mind and the heart. You are no longer in the vibration of love. You are straight in a different vibration now. You are vibrating differently, very low. The frequency is very beneath. And what does that mean? It means that this person is not only vibrating low, but they are tempering with low spirits, low deeds. They're signing the, themselves up for low income, having no success, no having no ability to do anything, to really accomplish anything with succession. This person is losing that rank in the world because of the energy they are vibrating on. It's decreasing their spiritual rank. They won't be able to do a lot of things. And with that being said, their weapons that they formed against you were formed from a delusional state of being that they're in, thinking that they can do one, two, three, and it can go like one, two, like they had a to-do list, they had a plan that they thought it, it would take off and succeed because they thought they had done everything right. But back to the fact that this person is not even on the vibration to know what is right or wrong spiritually. They have a lot of healing to do. They have a lot of ascension to do. They are still low in evolution. They are a child in spirit form. So with that being said, beloved, you don't have to worry about this energy. This was your message, though. You needed to know this. I thank you for your time. I really hope this helped you, beloved. I'm sending you the utmost love. Bye.